crunchy mouth watering so today we are going to make mandazi the kangumu style the hard ones the hard ones with the crack i don't know if i'm going to pull it out or let's wait i have cinnamon and cardamom one teaspoon one tablespoon each let's put our dry ingredients in and i have baking powder and baking soda and uh what and a half a teaspoon of uh, of um what do you call it salt and then here i have one and a half cups of sugar we put all that in and then i have four cups of water and my butter mix in everything i have my spatula here i'm going to mix in everything with the spatula well at this point after everything mixed well i'm going to use my hands to mix the butter in the butter was one and a half sticks of butter and unsalted butter um, the room temperature so i warmed mine on the microwave one minute let it cool and then use it when it's on room temperature not really because it's liquidish so so at this point you are going to after mixing your your butter in you will use your water bit by bit little by little until you get i don't know how to measure my water or milk so i always use bit by bit but this is four cups I will measure when I finish. I will know when I finish because this is my first time making this. And I want to make a whole. Maybe this one will take like uh, four to three days to, for the kids to finish it. We don't buy bread in our house. We make our bread. We make our mandazi. We make our mahamri or pancakes. Hmm next time i'm going to make pancakes from scratch now let's give it an, a good kneading a good kneading on the worktop until it doesn't stick on your fingers that's when you know you did a good job everything is mixed well but not everything for everything you make needs to be mixed well some you don't need to mix them too well so for my nigga I always push and draw push and draw push and draw push and draw away and in you see my leg my, my hands are almost dry so this is where our dough is it's ready and actually you can start cooking it right away but i like to leave it for like 10 20 minutes I use my clean thing to cover it. I like to cover it in here and just leave it when I'm cleaning up. You better clean up after yourself. Clean up. So let's leave it and clean up. 
be back and show me I will be back and show you how to fry it so it's about 20 20 minutes later let's bring our dough here For this part oh i used two cups two cups of water yep i used two cups of water and with our dough with our pizza slicer i will cut the dough into two pieces put the other one back and then this one, we're going to roll. I'm going to work with this one. For this one, we are going to work with a thick dough. You see, thick, and the oil is going. I think it's almost ready. Cut them into your desired shapes. And with this one, you don't want the oil to be too hot. I like cutting with this, using my cutting board with this, because I don't want to cut my worktop. Let's start dropping them in so I have a couple in my, in my hand. turn them immediately they rise up the oil so this way start turning them gently so that they cook evenly Angomo is ready. Ready, ready. Very ready. Yes! We're famous! 